and welcome back. I hope everyone is staying safe. That's important. So I'm here today to talk a little bit about our theater and the situation that we're in now. And uh, it's sort of like an update from my March post. Um, at the time we were closing the theater down and we were discussing that every Friday at eight o'clock we would be coming on with some content for you, artistic content for you. And we have maintained that. We got to see of Juliet and her Romeo and we got to see Murder Comes to Uptight Abbey, a couple of snippets of Dickens there for you. Um, so we hope to continue that content. Right now we are acquiring a copy of Johnny Skeeky, um, which was the last show we produced in this space. And we hope to bring that to you very soon. We will have some conversations with board members and with people who have been active in our theater over the years. And so please, we do ask that you continue coming back. Now, something that I wanted to talk about is that if you stop and think about the state of Michigan and um, in our shutdown situation because of COVID-19, um, if you figure we've probably got five major metropolitan areas in our state alone, um, and each of those metropolitan areas has at least one or two professional theater companies and maybe about five to ten community theater uh, companies. Um, which would include all of the um, the church groups and the social groups, the youth groups and stuff like that. So um, I'm sure I'm underestimating that. But if you stop and think, none of them are doing theater right now. Most of them, um, definitely not all of them, but most of them are uh, have to pay rent, have to pay for the building that they're in. Even if they own the building, it might be mortgaged. And so they do have to make those uh, rent payments. Well, for the last March, April, May, we're entering June now, that's four months of no revenue coming in, no money coming in. And so a lot of these companies are not gonna survive. They're not gonna make it. Um, we were very close going into this, and we hope that uh, through donations and people coming back every Friday, um, that they will be able to sustain us until we get to the point um, where we would either be doing shows or shutting down completely. We don't want the latter. We would rather start doing shows again. Um, if you'll notice, I have seats back here. Um, it's possible to show social distance here if you keep a mask on, and, um, and especially if you're sitting around people that you know, friends. So if we do come back, it's going to be in a very limited situation where we will not be able to have 80 people in the building. Um, we would probably only be able to have 30 or 35 people in the building. Um, one way to cover that is to extend our runs of shows instead of three weekends, do a fourth weekend um, to, to help maintain that uh, situation. Doing shows is how we made money. I am going to ask you to make a donation to Barefoot Productions. Um, you haven't been going to the theater for the last three months. You probably been watching a lot of online content, hopefully it's some of ours, and um, we would hope that you would think about that. And yes, everyone's in a difficult situation right now because no one's making any money, but you as a family probably won't go out of business, whereas we would. And that is a sad, sad situation. What is really sad is that should we survive? And we hope that we do. We will be one of the few that are still here. Many of them are gonna to have to close uh, because they don't have the opportunities that we have here at Barefoot Productions. So we hope that we will survive, but we need you. And um, as crass as it sounds, we need your money. We have to pay for the upkeep of this building, even though it's not being used you still have to pay for the electricity and, and utilities and rent and stuff like that in order to maintain uh, the property. 
I come here once a week. Um, yes, I wear a mask. Yes, I am safe. I'm alone. So there's nobody here and nobody's coming in and out of the building. So we don't really have a problem here inside the building and getting here. It's I'm in my car the whole time. So I don't see as that's really, but I did want to talk to you a moment about theater and why it's important. Um, the arts are very important because it gives our hearts the opportunity to express how we're feeling. And this past weekend with the tragic protests, the protests were peaceful. The tragedy happened afterwards and um, the looting and the destruction of property. Thankfully, we did not have that problem here in Livonia. <laughs> I don't think we were going to have that problem here in Livonia. Um, it was in Detroit and Grand Rapids, um, and that's very sad. I hope, uh, I hope the damage was minimal and people can recover, and I hope that the state does step in and, and help them with that. Um, we did not receive a Macaca grant. Um, they only had so much money, and it had to go to other companies that needed it more. Apparently, they thought we didn't need it as much. Um, we disagree. Um, we uh, wish them well. Um, hopefully that'll help uh, th some theater companies survive. The theater is very important in our lives. What this video here is for is not to bore you with my voice, but to give you the opportunity to give. To give back to us, to help us survive so that we can be here to do shows in this space when this is all over. It may be July, it may be August. Um, it may be September. Um, we hope that it is sooner than later in a very controlled manner with only a few people. Let's be real. We're going to have sellouts. Woohoo! Okay, that was supposed to be funny. I hope you laughed when you saw it. So, um, so there's ways to give. Uh, first off, you can mail us a check. And you can mail it to P.O. Box 6132 Plymouth, Michigan. 48170. Don't trust what I just said. Look down below in the more information in this video. Um, it will be posted there. Um, also, you can go to www.justgobarefoot, one word, dot com. And we, our opening page there has a way for you to give um, uh, to us. And, and then finally, there is Facebook, Facebook slash, wait a minute, excuse me, facebook.com slash just go barefoot. That's how you get a hold of us in those regards. And again, they will be listed below in the information part on this video. I just realized I'm looking at the camera backwards. It's over here that the information is. <laughs> okay, so here's the thing. We know that you support a lot of groups and each one of those groups is asking you for money. And we understand that and we realize you have to prior to prioritize your personal life. And we appreciate that, so are we. We do hope that you find it in your hearts to support Barefoot Productions and with, with money. We don't have a space right now that we can use. We have a space, we're not allowed to use it. And it's going to be a while before we're allowed to use it. In order for us to keep it, we need your help. So, I, when I started um, uh, working in the theater, about, uh, when I started wanting to create a theater company back in the 1990s, um, I studied Stratford, Ontario. I visited there, got to know them quite well. And one of the things that I learned from Tom Patterson, who is the creator of the Stratford Festival, um, was his way of fundraising, which I thought was very unique. So I'm gonna ask you guys to do that, if you could. Um, he would visit these little groups, social groups. Of course, we're social distancing now, so you're gonna to have to be creative. But this was a long time ago. This is the uh, 1950s. There'd be sewing clubs and tea clubs and book clubs and stuff like that throughout Stratford of, of, of ladies getting together and lunching. And what he would do is he would go to those groups and he would say, I want to start a theater company and I need money, but I don't know how to go about getting that money. So would you guys do me a favor? You gals, would you do me a favor? 
would you take any amount of money that you would be willing to donate to me? And would you, instead of giving it to me, would you spend that money to raise that amount of money? So in other words, if you're having a party with 10 people over and each of you are willing to give $10, that's $100. Well, that's $100. You could have given $100, but what you did instead is you got those people excited about it. And you spread the word in that regard to get people to know. <clears throat> people who have come to Barefoot Productions <clears throat> are here listening to me today. And what I'm going to ask you to do is if you have attended a show and you spent 20 bucks here, um, can you do us a favor? Can you spend that 20 bucks on stamps and mail a request for a donation to 20 people? Or, or whatever the price of a stamp is nowadays. I think it's close to 50, 60 cents or something like that. My point is, can you spend a little bit of money on us? If you can't give it to us directly, could you ask your friends to? Could you tell them about a show? Could you come back and show them the video of Murder Comes to Uptight Abbey? or of Juliet um, and, and show them what we do and explain to them why it's important that we survive because you love us and you want us to survive. Now, if you don't want to do that for Barefoot Productions, can you do it for some other theater company? I prefer that you support Barefoot Productions because we need you to survive. All right, many of the theater companies around here are gonna survive because they already own their building. And so their expenses are limited. Whereas we do not, we rent. And that is $2,000 a month uh, in expenses that we have to raise by doing a show. So you can see our situation, how quickly behind we're getting. Um, and so it's important for our survival that you help us survive. And I'm, this is a call to arms please come help us raise the funds that are necessary for us to exist, to give you the art that you love. Theater is not online. Yes, you can watch those videos of Stratford. God, are they good. Oh my gosh, they are wonderful and you should watch them anyways. But there's a difference between watching it on video and actually sitting down in the seat and being there in the same room in real time when it's actually happening. Without an audience for us as actors, we don't exist. With you in the seat, we are real. In person, 3D. I, I almost said we spit on you, which would be terrible at this time. Don't sit in the front row. It's the Gallagher thing. We're smashing the watermelon sprays. No, I'm kidding. I'm making a joke there. The point is, we need your help. So look below, three ways to do it. Facebook, website, and um, what, was the, what was the other one? Oh, website. Um, and so I think I said that. Look below, look below <laughs> and see where they're listed. I'm losing track of my thought here. This is a one take uh, event. So um, I'm going to stop now because I know you're tired of listening to me. I hope you have a wonderful time. Go on to our YouTube page. And we have a YouTube channel now, Barefoot Productions Livonia. And we have a YouTube and we're posting these videos on YouTube. So you'll be able to come back anytime you want. And um, we appreciate you coming and commenting um, and uh, helping us to stay alive in this COVID world that we are living in now and uh, chin up. The, um, the, the past weekend it will dissipate. Um, hopefully the reason they're doing it won't. We really do need social change terribly. Um, the theater is very important in that social change because it gives new voices an opportunity to express the, the events of the time and out of this COVID and this um, uh, racist uh, moment that we're living in right now. Some incredible theater is going to come out. We are a theater company that promotes new theater, so new playwrights. Um, Johnny Skeeky and Murder Comes Up to Abbey are written by Brian Townsend. 
Um, I did adapt to Romeo and Juliet. So the, we are that company that allows that to happen. Um, we're a non-professional version of the Purple Rose, if you want to look at it that, although they are more extreme and, and wonderful. There's another company that you should be supporting. So, here's the thing. If you love the theater and you're watching this video right now, please consider contributing to us to help us survive um, through this COVID moment. I truly appreciate you. And from all the board of directors at Barefoot Productions, we thank you for your patronage. We thank you for your donations. And we thank you for liking us. Take care. Be safe. Listen to your governor. Do what she asks, because we will get to the other side of this mountain together.